Nathan Judah, I'm here with Matt Mayer, birthday boy, 40th birthday today, congratulations. Why amazing, um, amazing, amazing start. Um, and Mikey WM, um, look, it's a fantastic, fantastic day. It wasn't it wasn't big, it wasn't pretty, it was pretty brutal in a lot of stages, but at the same time they've got the job done. That's a massive, massive three points. Yeah, I think ugly game. Yes. Beautiful moment to win it. It was. Um, and a huge, yeah, a huge win. It feels a big win, even though it's just three games in, because you draw nil-nil, which the game looked like it was going to finish nil-nil yeah. for most of the afternoon. You know, you still, you know, it's just, it, it's, the, it would just, it would just have kept the, what's the word? I think that's that sense of kind of. Annoying, that frustration, kind of that frustration, frustration, that frustration kind of I guess, you know, like, like not big, getting the ball big, in the back of the net. Big part of this, you know, the first part of this season yeah. would have just continued on to Tuesday night against yeah. Blackpool and then, you know, you've got one more game before the two week break, Gary O'Neill's off the mark as manager, it's, you know, it's just, let, it just rolls everything on to the next week, whereas with that goal it feels like, yeah, yeah you suddenly you're up and running. Yeah. Mike, yeah. look, I mean, those, those 90 minutes, I mean, before Sasha came on, look, Barry Silva had that, that, that massive one-on-one -on -one in the second half, but there were large periods of that game where Wolves are under the cosh and Everton will rue a host of missed chances. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, Sars had a very good game and, and made one particularly good save yeah. for Decore, and others, uh, the one that Tarkovsky puts into the side netting, he makes quite a good save just before that, in the yeah. build-up of that, so yeah, that was very important, although I didn't think they withstood quite a lot. Um, you'd expect to go away from home in the Premier League and, and, and be up against it in a high pressure game like this. Sure. So they've held their nerves. So yeah, look, it's not a, it doesn't very really matter about with the great performance. The no. problem with Wolves for quite a long time is they've been quite good at playing football. Sure. That's not the object of the game. Yeah. The object of the game is to put the ball in the goal, yeah. which they found a way to do. Yeah, look, I mean, look, it's a, it's, it's a dream, dream goal for Sasha Kalajic and the documentary documentary makers here yes. at Wolves and, and everything that he's gone through with you know with his rehabilitation and, and having that AC coming off and, and coming back look he's not he's not fully fit he's still going to take time yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to to get he's not going to be playing 90 minutes anytime soon but at the same time what a moment in front of the fans as well and like you say Matt just a, just a massive moment in this season I know it's only game week three but you look at you look at Wolves and you look at the setup and you know for as, as as good as they played against Manchester United as poor as they were against Brighton this is this could be a massive three points come the end of the season no, I do think so yeah I mean look I think Everton are going to be a box six team um, I don't think there's any doubt about that. And these are the games that you know, you, you know, the teams, the teams that don't get into trouble. These are the games they win, and Wolves have found a way to win this one. Yeah, I think on, on Sasa, I mean, I've said huge goal for him. You don't want to put too much pressure on him because, like you say, he's not fully fit. Yeah, it's, it's, you can't expect perhaps the world of him. But it, of you know, he's done what. I mean, I don't want to, you know, you don't want to make a comparison, you don't want to say negative, but Fabio Silva had another big chance today. Huge, two, two big one-on-one. Didn't score, yeah. same as last week, mm -hmm. and, you know, that could have ended up being the, the story today. Instead, Sass has come on, yeah. scored after two minutes, yeah. um, and, and, and just maybe, maybe, you know, he's going to be the, you know, he, he, when he's fully fit, when he's yeah. up and running. You know, that's a, a very promising start, you know, for him. Mike, it was a bit of a smashing grab, but as they have done in, in previous previous seasons yeah, at absolutely. Everton, and look, they don't really care um, how it's happened. Gary Neal will be relieved tonight. He's got three points. They've got a massive now six or seven days before the transfer yeah. windows, you know, slam shut. Um, Matthias Nunes wasn't here today, of course, suspended. He didn't really want it talk too much about it. Whether we see him on Wednesday against Blackpool is um, is another question in itself. But for those players here today to get a result like that, to come here, confidence is, is huge into going forward into, yes, Blackpool, of course, but, but more importantly, Crystal Palace on, on Sunday. Yeah, you have to get some momentum. And look, if Wolves, maybe they have a great week and they sign three players. That'd be terrific. Be almost, almost whoever they are. Yeah. But actually, still the majority of the work this season is going to be done by the 20 or so lads sure. they've already got which yeah. is a point O'Neill made and it bears repeating it's not all about the new signings clear though it is that they need some but moments like that mm -hmm. look that Kalaj has got we've just spent two minutes in his company by the way yeah. it's very easy to see why everybody likes yeah. him so much yeah. um, emotional very yeah, emotional yeah, well, the game's about that yeah. everybody else is emotional mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a moment he will if he scores another 100 goals for yeah. balls he'll always have that one and it'll be a special moment for, for, for lots of personal reasons for him and that's wonderful that he's been able to share that with everybody look it's a straightforward goal mm. you know we spent ages analysing the goals that the fellas you know put a good cross in and yeah. 
the big guys, yeah. here, it's quite straightforward, the yeah. game really, but they've got some momentum to go forward. If it lifts these players, who are going to be the majority of the ones they rely on this season, whether or not they make signings, then it's been a good day with a long-lasting effect. And, and seasons seasons can turn on, on moments like this, you know, really, because yeah. they, you know, their beliefs are a massive, massive thing. And yeah, if, you, if, you st if you're not winning games, or you, you're waiting for that first win, waiting to get off the mark, then belief does start to. So when Gary O'Neill's come in, he's trying to explain, you know, you know, get the team the way, playing the way he wants. Mm. But if the results don't come relatively soon these days in football, then people, you know, people just start to have doubts. Yeah. And I think that just, you know, today, you know, those suddenly those, those doubts feel a bit further away. What well, they did, you know. the winter though, by the way, eight Nori in the second half. Yeah. Playing further forward. Yeah. I think we might hear more of that. Love that. Quite yeah. like that. Uh, I've seen it briefly before as a sub, but that might be a future for him. Yeah. So, and it, 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 they looked a much more dangerous team in its starts. Matt, but, mate, yeah. thank you very much. It's uh, fantastic to have some quality analysis for a change. Uh, Everton nil, <laughs> Wolves won. When, when does that stop? <laughs> yeah, well, that comes with age, you know, clearly. For all the post-match reaction, make sure you log on to expressionstar.com.